If you have a 1440p monitor or you are looking to buy one for your next gaming PC, let me show you my top 3 best 4040p PC builds that you can buy in 2023. We are going to go from the cheapest to the most expensive PC build. So if you are working with less than a thousand dollars, it's totally fine because you will actually see two computers that are around a thousand bucks. And if you want the best performance for 1440p, you will also get a high-end 1440p gaming PC. And if you don't want to stick until the end, don't worry about it because I have a website where you can find your perfect PC build for your budget, for your favorite game with the estimated FPS and it's really simple to use. You will have the link to the website and to the 1440p gaming PCs as well in the video description. With that being said, let's start. With the first one, we have a PC that's $800 by the time that I'm recording this video, but you can actually get away by spending $700 for 1440p. I will explain why in a second. But basically, this one has the Ryzen 5 5600 alongside the RX 6700 XT for the GPU. This is a really good 1440p GPU CPU combo on a Thai budget for under a thousand bucks. You will be able to run most titles at high settings, 60 plus FPS on average, but of course it's going to depend on the title and the settings that you want to play at. For example, games like Fortnite, Valorant and CSGO will be more than playable at high FPS, but other games such as Cyberpunk 2077 and Fly Simulator, those are actually high GPU demanding titles. So I recommend you searching the CPU GPU combo benchmarks for your favorite title 1440p for you to see the exact performance that this one has to bring. You also get 16 gigs of RAM of DDR4, 2x8 of course on dual channel. Then you get one terabyte of SSD, which is the standard nowadays for gaming. You also get a gigabyte B550M micro ATX motherboard, which is not the best motherboard out there, but it's going to have enough gaming features, so there's nothing to worry about there. You also get the Salman S2 ATX mid tower case, really decent airflow for this type of component, and you already get pre-installed fans, so you don't have to buy more fans at all. And last but not least, you get the Bitfenix Formula 600 watt 80 plus ground power supply, which will be enough wattage for this build, and it's only 50 bucks. So if you want 1440p, under $1,000, most titles 60 plus FPS on average, even at high settings, I think this one is the one to go with. And if you have even less money, let's say you have 700 bucks, I recommend you going with the RX 6650 XT instead of the 6700 XT. Now, it's not going to be as powerful and the RX 6650 XT is more of a high FPS 1080p gaming GPU than a 1440p one, but you're going to still play at 1440p depending on the title. So like I mentioned before, title like Minecraft, Valorant and CSGO will be easy to run even on a GPU like the 6650 XT but if you're looking to play more high demanding titles then I wouldn't recommend you doing the downgrade. For the next one actually almost every single component is the same one except for the graphics card and the power supply. For the GPU I went with the RX 6800 and for the power supply with the ASUS Staff Gaming 650W 80 plus bronze power supply B tier rated really good unit for this type of PC build and you get the RX 6800 which is around a 20% faster GPU than the 6700 XT. Now it's worth mentioning that at this price point $500 for a GPU Sometimes you can actually find the RX 6800 XT instead of the non-XT version which is much more powerful for 1440p and it's also going to be a good 4K gaming GPU. So if I find it on a deal you will have it updated in the video description. That being said if you want to check the latest pricing just check the links down below. Anyway, this whole system is around 980 bucks, so still under a thousand dollars and you are getting a great high FPS 1440p experience. We are not even talking about 60 plus FPS on average, we are talking about more FPS for most titles of course, because like I mentioned before, there are some games that are still hard to run like Cyberpunk 2077. Overall, for around a thousand bucks, this system is just great for 1440p. And with the highest end gaming PC build for the video, we have the 1440p high end gaming computer. This one has the i5-12600K alongside with the Deepcool AK400 for the CPU cooler. We also get a C690 motherboard, much better than the previous ones. We get the same 16 gigs of RAM and one terabyte of SSD because remember, we are talking about gaming. If we are talking about content creation or streaming, then maybe 
it's worth considering 32 gigs of RAM and 2 terabytes of SSD, but for gaming, these are going to be just fine. And the most important part for this PC is going to be the graphics card. I picked the RTX 4070 Ti. This is a really high end 1440p GPU, but I actually consider this GPU a really capable 4K graphics card as well, with a similar performance to the RTX 3090 Ti or 3090. So even if you want to upgrade to 4K in the near future, this GPU will get the job done even though I do not like the price of this one at $800. At the end, after the RX 6800, there's actually no GPU that's around the price of the 4070 Ti and is much better. Actually, most of the GPUs at this price point are much worse than the 4070 Ti. So even though the price of this one is not actually a good price, if we compare it with other GPUs on the market right now, it's probably the best option and it actually sucks to say that it's the best option out there, but it is what it is and we can't do anything about it. So if you're looking for the best 1440p high FPS PC build, I will look into this one for around $1,600. You also get the Fractal Design Focus 2 ATX mid tower case, really nice looking case. And for the power supply, we get the MSI MPG a 850 watt 80 plus gold power supply this is 80 rated so far better quality than the other ones because we also have a higher quality pc build so if you have around 1600 bucks and you want really high fps for 1440p or you want to play the most demanded titles out there like i said before like fly simulator this one is the one to buy and if you have any questions about these systems or you want a new system but you don't know much about components let me know that question in the comment section and i will try to reply as fast as possible also you will have my video about the top five best pc builds that you can get overall for 2023 in the top right of the screen thank you guys for watching thank you for your support and if you got value out of the video leave a like and subscribe but most importantly hit that bell button so you get notified when i upload this type of content i will see you on the next one